can you believe the Republicans nominated an idiot who thinks car maintenance is funny? And I gotta tell you, through beer goggles, John McCain looks pretty good. <laughs> Hello, sailor. <laughs> Mason, McCain offers long-term solutions for right now, which is why he mocked Barack Obama's reminder that we can save gas by properly inflating our tires. McCain even handed out tire gauges labeled, get this, Obama's energy plan. <laughs> you know, I'm also running low on wiper fluid, so I hope McCain makes fun of that soon, too. <laughs> well, Barack Obama responded with some vicious hate speech. Jim? They're making fun of a step that every expert says would absolutely reduce our oil consumption by three to four percent. It's like, it's like these guys take pride in being ignorant. Yes, sir, we do. And we prefer to be called ignorant Americans. We have been second-class citizens for too long just because we're not sure what number comes before two. <laughs> Don't believe me? Ask yourself this. If an ignorant person and a non-ignorant person apply for the same job, who do you think gets it? <laughs> the person with the well-thought-out answers and a relevant degree, or the person who spreads jam on his face during the interview and passes out on the desk? Ignorant Americans even have to hide who we are from our own families. When I finally got up the courage to come out of the closet, which, which I thought was the bathroom. Sorry about those coats. And I got up the courage to tell my dad that I was ignorant. He just stared at me and didn't say a word. It wasn't until later I found out it was just a photo. But that didn't stop the hurt. <laughs> Ignorant Americans aren't going to be ashamed anymore. It is time to honor the contributions that the ignorant have made to America with an Ignorance History Month. <laughs> it will be a week-long celebration throughout the month of Febtember. My fellow ignorance, together we can take back the White House. Or at least hold on to it a little longer. <laughs> Nation. <laughs> 50 pounds per square inch. Look at that. I'm surprised Colbert was not a little bit more forceful in his critique by mentioning the 4,000 plus soldiers who were killed in Iraq because of these ignorant conservative assholes.